Come on, guys. Did you really think it'd be like Chris Jericho coming back or something? No? It's not even... Man, I only just watched Raw a minute ago, and like... In my stupid slumber, I go on YouTube first, and I just see all, everyone bitching about Hornshoggle being um, Vince's son. Basically, like, don't you get it? Like, that WWE loves its comedy. <laughs> and, like, the E on the end is entertainment. And, um, yeah. Well, obviously, it was building up to be Kennedy and whatever, what have you. Um, this, is, this war was in Green Bay, and they were probably, like, promoting it around him. But because of, like, the suspension and everything, they couldn't do this. So they decided to go the comedy route, and after watching Raw and how it's building up with, like, the riddles come in, surely, like, you guys should even fucking know by now. And even when they had the graphic on the screen, like, it was either on SmackDown or ECW, and it showed Hornshoggle, like, it must have switched on, like, that it's not necessarily going to be a serious factor. I mean, yeah, I mean, I would have loved it if, like, they, like, called up Colt Cabana or something to, like, play Vince's goofy son. Like, that would be great, but... And again, like, I'm quite glad it is on Shoggle, just in case it, like, ruins someone. But, you know, the other factor is, like, this could all, like, change or be a swerve in a month or so, like, when Kennedy comes back, like... Someone might have switched the DNA or some <laughs> bullshit like that, you know? It's, it is so pop pro wrestling, like... God's sake. It's just... Oh. just sucks. Oh, it's just, you know, the usual suspects fucking moaning, basically. Fucking monoxide. Do you know what? Sometimes this guy pisses me off more than Bill and Doug just for his whiny arseness, you know? I might sound like I've whined a lot, but fuck's sake. God, he just feels like he has something to prove all the time. It's just fucking YouTube, isn't it? Like, give it a rest, man. But yeah. Um, Hornshoggle is Vince's son. Um, and we got to see Triple H be the Joker and stuff at the end of it. And yeah. WWE likes comedy, and I don't think, like, people should be whining about this. It's to be expected, you know, and, like, something could well come out of it. And I don't know what this idea is about, like, this possibly building up to something at WrestleMania 24. Who knows? Who the fuck knows that, like? It's, like, months away now. People are going, oh, it's going to be Triple H and Horn Struggle at WrestleMania 24. No, it's not, like, fuck's sake. Anything could bloody well change, you know? And, like, you know, they're going to love this comediness for a bit. They're just going to do it. And I personally laughed when Horn Struggle came out because I knew it was coming. Like, from what I heard on YouTube, it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, well. Hey. But, like, I don't know, if Kennedy wasn't suspended, it would have been him. But, like, how good would that have been? You know, every time we'd have to see, we'd see Kennedy, we'd have to see McMahon. But, I mean, even more McMahon. And, um, although that may be the case anyway when he comes back, it's probably good that, like, something else is happening and then something else may come out of it, you know? Who knows what the fuck is going to happen or where they're going to go with it. So my advice is just stop whining about this fucking shit. Because WWE likes to swerve its audience in jokey, disappointing fashion sometimes. You know? And you should just fucking go with the flow, man. For God's sake. I mean, I mean, if you're on the internet anyway, you can watch loads of other wrestling as it is. Like... Anyway, this is me with another ramble. Take easy.